In the year 2000, an MIT faculty committee on lifelong learning proposed a program that was as straightforward as it was revolutionary. The idea is simple, just to publish our teaching material, our course content, online, on the internet, and make it widely available to everyone who could use it for free. OpenCourseWare, OCW, is MIT's web-based initiative that offers open access to the core teaching materials, syllabi, lecture notes, assignments, and exams from 1,800 courses, free of charge for educators and learners worldwide. The idea that we came up with, OpenCourseWare, uh, was really a revolutionary idea, particularly at the time, because in 1999, it was the heyday of the dot-com era, and everyone was thinking of a for-profit model. Now, although we considered it, we felt that for MIT, the right thing to do, the right model, is to give away the teaching materials. Some faculty thought it was the dumbest idea ever at MIT. We were giving away all our intellectual property to the world for free, and no one would use their textbooks anymore, no one would come to their classes anymore, etc., etc. And other people thought it was the best social good they'd ever heard of. Through the generous support of the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation, and the Ab Initio Corporation, MIT has published materials from virtually all MIT undergraduate and graduate courses on the OCW site, representing 33 academic disciplines. In addition to the core teaching materials, the site includes animations, simulations, and more than 1,000 hours of classroom instruction on video. It's important to keep in mind that we are not offering MIT education through OpenCourseWare. So for example, you don't register for credits and you don't get a degree. A true MIT education is something where students come on campus, they live here, and they learn with uh, fellow students and with the faculty. More than 90% of the MIT faculty and hundreds of other MIT community members voluntarily share their knowledge and teaching materials on OCW demonstrating the Institute's widely held commitment to openness. A core value of MIT for a long time has been public service. We should be in the business of disseminating this knowledge to help you know, the world. In a sense, that's what books do, right? So this is, if you want, is the modern equivalent of that. In the four years since the site's launch, Open Courseware materials have been accessed by 35 million individuals from more than 220 countries and territories worldwide. Rogelio Morales, a PhD candidate at the Central University of Venezuela, is a metallurgical engineer and a licensed commercial diver. For Morales, OCW is a valuable resource for new information that improves underwater inspections and testing. I often download information from different topics and give it to our professors. Sometimes we discuss the information. Other times they use the slides from the OCW site in class. It's a great resource. I want to be part of OCW because I believe in the spirit of the thing. I think the concept is dead on right. And we don't feel proprietary about it. We want you to know what it is. We want you to be able to tap into it at some level, even if it's a fairly static level. Uh, and, and that's reason enough to do it, as far as I'm concerned. At the University of San Carlos, Guatemala's center of higher education for more than 300 years, Professor Walaska Aldana Zagora teaches a course for physics instructors. When you try to teach certain subjects and you don't have labs or equipment or any kind of visualization, the students end up lacking the expertise necessary for their future success as physics professors. The fact that MIT provides their materials without cost is simply extraordinary. I think the most wonderful thing about this is that MIT was in a way almost to most people outside MIT like the Forbidden City. They had no idea what happened inside. And with OCW, the bridge was lowered. They now see MIT in a completely different way. Triatno Yudo Harjoko, head of the architectural department at the University of Indonesia at Depok, was amazed that a university as renowned as MIT would give access to virtually all of its educational information. Harjoko believes that there is great value in MIT's free and open sharing. It's not simply the information that's valuable, but also the glimpse OCW offers into how MIT has structured its teaching and research. The reach of OpenCourseWare goes far beyond the site itself. 
Other organizations have now translated nearly 600 OCW courses into other languages, including Chinese, Spanish, Portuguese, and Thai. These translations have been accessed by 14 million visitors to date. There are also more than 100 mirror sites, locally hosted versions of the OCW site, in low bandwidth areas. The majority are located in sub-Saharan Africa. I traveled to Africa and I found that the people there were very receptive to OCW and uh, the mission of OCW, which is to spread knowledge around the world. Many of the universities in Africa, they don't have books or the budgets are just really low compared to the United States. And so whatever little help they can get with setting up curricula or um, just more information about a subject, it really helps. Another area that many of us um, had an uh, aspiration for was that open courseware would not be just something that MIT does, but by setting an example and a model, uh, it would become something that many other institutions would also do, uh, not just in the areas that we are good at, like science or engineering or management, but in all kinds of fields of knowledge. And today there are over 150 universities around the world who are doing their own open courseware. And I think the, the dream that in fact open courseware would be truly a very, very broad-based movement that will impact knowledge, information, and education worldwide, I think it's coming to fruition even as we speak now. OpenCourseWare has grown from a bold experiment to a global movement. With the complete MIT curriculum now available on the site, OpenCourseWare has reached an important milestone, but is only at the beginning of the journey. MIT will continue to enhance and update OCW materials, develop new programs and features, and collaborate with others seeking to share their own knowledge, helping to create a truly global network of open educational resources. I came from a family uh, in fact, we were refugees in Hong Kong, uh, somewhat sort of financially restricted uh, with very few options. And when I grew up, I remember uh, my father valuing education, would bring home um, old second, third hand volumes of MIT books. I remember flipping these books and uh, seeing the dome, the picture of the dome on the front cover and just aspiring one day uh, to go to MIT. And the fact that today I'm a professor at MIT and so forth uh, is a testimony to the fact that MIT has an impact way beyond its immediate borders. And I think that's at the heart, in some sense, of the idea of open courseware, that an institution like MIT has a responsibility, has an opportunity to impact students way beyond our immediate walls in Cambridge. MIT OpenCourseWare, unlocking knowledge empowering minds.